This is Twit. I thought AMD did a pretty good job of, of uh, serving Intel they lunch. They owned <laughs> Intel. Intel had such a bad CES because people were hoping they're going to release a roadmap that shows how they're going to compete against Ryzen. Nothing. It was just more of the same. It's oh, we're gonna we've got the the Intel Hexacore. Yeah, that's that's about it. And, yeah. and in the meantime, AMD's like, oh yeah, this architecture we could we could double the performance on it. We easily. can we can make a sixty four yeah. core chip. Now it's a four thousand dollar chip. It's an Amp Pruitt. <laughs> it definitely is an it's Amp Pruitt priced. Okay, but, so uh, I have now Amp Pruitt GPUs and Amp Pruitt CPUs. Yeah, yeah, you got it all. I like where this is going. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know who. I, in fact, it's a weird thing because I guess it's for they're calling for high uh, high uh, for HEDTs. They're talking for a, a high what is it high efficiency? No mm -hmm. high anyway right. high, high performance desktops. And actually, really, it's for professionals using 3D yes. rendering and, mm -hmm. and yeah. that kind of thing. I don't know who needs I mean, 64 Intel cores. Not even a announce, gamer. They did announce they're getting into the to, to the GPU business. I mean, and I thought that was pretty big. And you mobile know, the side. One. Yeah. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. But, I mean, is there space? In the GPU business, you've got an NVIDIA and you've got AMD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And both of them yeah. are making incredible products. Is there really Intel. space for Intel? Because Intel is going to be playing catch up for at least the first four years. They can yeah. play catch up, but they at least have the pockets to play catch up for now and do more in that R and D side. I wonder how much. I, mean, I wonder how much runway they AMD have. AMD was pretty I, much in the same position uh, about five, six true. years ago. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's so true. If and you got and money, I have to say, I, oh, to that point, you know, Ann, I think I have to say that I have a better. I, I have more confidence that Intel could build GPUs than they could build mobile CPUs, right? right. They tried to yes. go into mobile. Right. Yes. Not good for them. But when it comes to just raw power, Intel's your company, right? right? I think I, I have more faith that they could do this well, uh, especially because GPUs are becoming more important in like um, high end compute and those kinds of things that are more server based kind of stuff. They have a lot of IP, they have a lot of expertise in that. So, I, I wouldn't I I wouldn't count them out on it. 